Well, I'll tell you, these last three days have felt like the equivalent of two weeks worth of chaos. Been dealing with three sick kiddos, all at various stages of it. And it's not been terribly bad. It's all been upper respiratory. And for the most part on their worst day, which was staggered, it was all just kind of like low energy and a lot of congestion. Thankfully, we don't really run fevers over here or have vomiting and things like that. Our kids have pretty good immune systems. But on top of the three sick kiddos, we have now had two Two sick kitty cats with a virus. Sir Jakerton being the most recent one. Actually, the other day, whenever I posted about having a bad day, it was because we thought Jake had run off. We had not seen him all day long. We thought that he had gone outside like he normally does every morning, but decided to pitch a fit over the new baby being in the house and run off. Like, literally, all day long, searched high and low throughout this house and spent so much time outside calling this cat to come inside. Turns out, he was home, inside the house, all day long sleeping it off somewhere because he doesn't feel good thankfully we have some herbs on hand to help out kitty cats just as easily as they help out the humans so we've been helping nurse him through this virus he's got snowflake was the other kitty cat to get it but she is already completely recovered she got a clean villa health from the vet this morning and we ended up with one more surprising development today this little bitty nugget right here that we added to our family two and a half weeks ago is in fact a little lady, not a little boy like we thought. She had her new kitten appointment today and that's where we found out that she was a she and not a he. And now she's a little bit lethargic and sleeping it off because she got all of her new kitty cat shots today. Well, and you figure in on top of that, I've still been busy working my tail off for the business, getting orders processed and out the door and restocking like we did this morning. So as you can imagine, certain areas of the house, specifically like the living room and other areas where the kids have been hanging out and stuff, have been a little bit less than tidied up recently. So now that most of everyone is on the mend and I have come to a good stopping point for work for the day, let's get the living room tidied up, shall we? And, except for Ether doing her part of vacuuming the floor, we're all done up here. Never mind the makeshift curtains back here. If you remember on Middle Little's birthday, she had a watch party watching Harry Potter with her best friend that lives in Tennessee. All the windows are right there. The TV's right there, which most of the time's not a big deal. But when you watch Harry Potter, it's kind of a big deal because it's darker on the screen. So we had to block off the light and I just have not taken them down yet. But. The living room is nice and clean and put back together. One thing I really love about this house by comparison to Alaska is that it is larger. It's like two and a half times the size of the house we had in Alaska, but that makes it easier for me to be able to keep it clean because there is enough space for everything to have its space. Like the crochet stuff goes there, the Lego sets go there, the video games and entertainment stuff goes over there, the in progress Lego sets are organized and hanging out right there. And the act of playing with Legos, like Little Man is doing right now, happens over there. When everything has its proper place, it's really easy just to come in and quickly maintain it all and put it back where it all belongs. Which makes my job of cleaning so much easier. And now I think I might go downstairs and tackle another area of the house, but that's a video for another time.